Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the module on dynamic urban models. Based on the relatively abstract urban system models that we introduced in the last module, we investigate in the following lessons how we can make our simulation spatially explicit. This means we want to add more detailed spatial representation of our elements. So this can be the blocks, the urban blocks, the street blocks, the streets itself, and the houses. But at the moment, when households and workplaces have a specific location, the distances between these locations becomes relevant. To illustrate the most important mechanisms of a spatially explicit urban simulation model, we start with an extremely simple city in form of a regular grid. In the next step, we use an irregular arrangement of blocks and streets, which <coughs> require a more detailed calculation of the distances between these elements, for which we use a street network graph. In the last step, we consider a self-generated city and how we can simulate its spatial development. Finally, I will show you how to apply these simulations that um, we investigated during this module in the context of a real city for which we use the city of Weimar.